friends welcome to to the point in this session we are discussing about india and its size and its location india is one of the ancient civilization in the world india has achieved a multifaceted socio economic progress during the last 5 decades and it has moved forward displaying a remarkable progress in the field of agriculture industry technology and overall economic development India has also contributed significantly to the making of world history. Let's discuss about the location and size of India. India is a vast country and it lies entirely in the northern hemisphere. The mainland it extends between latitudes of 8 degree 4 minutes north and 37 degree 6 minutes north and longitudes of 68 degree 7 minutes east and 97 degree 25 minutes east. The tropic of Cancer it divides the country into almost two equal parts to the south east of the mainland lies the andaman and nicobar islands in the bay of bengal and to the south west of the mainland there lies an lakshadweep islands in the arabian sea the landmass of india it has an area of 3.28 million square kilometer india's total area accounts for about 2.4% of the total geographical area of the world Here is a list of largest countries of the world and India stands in 7th place after Russia, Canada, USA, China, Brazil and Australia. India has a land boundary of about 15200 km and the total length of the coastline of the mainland including Andaman and Nicobar and Lakshadweep is 7516.6 km. India is bounded by the Eng Fold Mountains in the northwest. north and northeast and south of about 22 degree north latitude it begins to taper and extends towards the indian ocean dividing it into two seas the arabian sea on the west and bay of bengal in the east note that the latitudinal and longitudinal extent of the mainland is about 30 degree apart from this fact the east west extent it appears to be smaller than the north south extent from gujarat to arunachal pradesh there is a time lag of 2 hours hence time along the standard meridian of india that is 82.30 minutes east passing through mirzapur in uttar pradesh is taken as the standard time for the whole country the latitudinal extent it influences the duration of day and night as one moves from south to north the indian landmass It has a central location between East and West Asia. India is a southward extension of Asian continent. The Trans-Indian Ocean routes which connect countries of Europe in the west and countries of East Asia, it provides a strategic central location to India. The Deccan Peninsula, it protrudes into the Indian Ocean. Thus, it helps India to establish a close contact with West Asia, Africa, and Europe from the western coast. and with south east and east asia from the eastern coast no other country has a long coastline on the indian ocean as india has and indeed it is india's eminent position in the indian ocean india's contact with the world it have been continued through the ages but india's relationship through the land routes are much older than her maritime contacts the various passes across the mountains in the north they have provided passes to the ancient travelers while the oceans restricted such interaction for a long time this routes they have contributed in the exchange of ideas and commodities since ancient times the ideas of upanishads ramayana and the stories of panchatantra the indian numericals and the decimal system it could reach many parts of the world india occupies an important strategic position in south asia india has 28 states and nine union territories india shares its land boundaries with pakistan and afghanistan in the northwest china nepal and bhutan in the north and myanmar and bangladesh in the east our southern neighbors across the sea consist of two island countries namely sri lanka and maldives sri lanka is separated from india by a narrow channel of sea formed by the pak strait and the gulf of mannar while maldives island or situated to the south of lakshadweep island see you in the next session with some other interesting topic thank you